Children are a blessing and a gift from the Lord. Psalms 127.3 Meet Zari Kia Castillo. She was born on December 21st, 2017. At a month old, we observed she was experiencing 40 to 50 seizures along with developmental delays. At one year old, after being hospitalized and studies conducted, she was given a formal diagnosis of Otahara syndrome, a neurological disorder so rare that there was barely a diagnosis, let alone a cure. The prognosis of this condition is poorly controlled seizures, severe developmental delay, shortened lifespan, cerebral palsy, low vision, and nonverbal. My family has been a special needs family for five years. As I reflect on inclusion, the first thing I must discuss is what is an inclusive society, followed by what would be the recipe that would make Belize an inclusive society for Zari today and in the future. An inclusive society to me as a special needs mother is a society that recognizes the importance of diversity and aim to create an environment where everyone feels valued and included. It is a society that strives to eliminate barriers, discrimination, and promote equal opportunity for Zari and everyone to participate fully in social, economic, educational, recreational, and political life. The recipe for an inclusive Belizean society for special needs children and other people living with physical and intellectual disabilities begins with the following. 1. Mandatory implementation of amniocentesis sampling for women over 35 years old. This will help with the early detection of genetic conditions or developmental delay during pregnancy, something that I was not privileged to do during my pregnancy. 2. Educating and spreading awareness of neurological disorders and intellectual disabilities through social media. 3. Implementation of disability studies by the Statistical Institute of Belize and other entities. These studies will definitely inform our society how we can address the needs of people living with disabilities. 4. The implementation of disability history represented in the educational system through subjects such as HFLE or through religious education. Studying disability history will help students to learn about different disabilities. They will become empathetic, appreciative, and kind towards disabled people. This will then lead our society to be more inclusive. Five, access to more pediatric neurologists and adult neurologists. We can implement scholarship opportunities for aspiring doctors to become pediatric or adult neurologists. 6. Enabling in mobile persons the opportunity to an education by offering access to special centers that cater to their socialization and therapy needs. So we will not only have an institution such as Stella Maris, but also other special centers that will cater to kids like Zari who are bedridden. They would be able to go to those institutions and they can interact as well as receive therapy sessions. Seven, equipping teachers with the tools necessary to meet the needs of disabled person. Eight, fostering a work environment through reasonable accommodation. For example, a business place can have things such as visual signage. Nine, provide access to modern therapies such as, as hydrotherapy. 10, special support service for families, caregivers, and babysitters. I believe if this, these groups will be able to have a special support service system, it will better equip them when it comes to caring for special needs adults as well as kids. They can receive things such as training in therapy, training in also in CPR and how to take care such as bathe and feed people with disabilities. 11. Social Security Disability Benefits the implementation of special social security cards for special needs kids can be, implement, can be implemented. I believe that kids should have a special social security card that will outline their diagnosis. That way it will be easier for special needs parents to travel as well as get 
attended to when they visit different places such as hospitals, passport office, immigration, the passport and immigration office. 12. Access to quality health care and medication. This is very important, especially based on a child's disability. They need to have quality education along with medication. I believe that medication administered to kids, for example, like Zara with Otahara syndrome, is very important for them to receive the latest the latest medication so that it can help to reduce, in Zari's case, her her seizure episodes. 13. Child, adult, child or adult tax deduction. As you all know, working special needs parents pay, they all pay tax and so I believe that a tax deduction for parents with a child living with a long-term condition would be great for an inclusive society that will certainly alleviate all the expenses that those special needs parents will have to endure during the entire course of that child's life. 14. Ramp accessibility, car seats, special seats accommodation in public spaces. Public spaces such as schools, churches, and I can speak from experience the passport office offering special needs chair especially when it comes to a child like Zari going to take her picture for a passport 15 access to children or adult changing table in major supermarkets or stores i believe that this is a very important one for an inclusive society because it helps the parents to take out these kids or even the adults to be comfortable in going to public spaces knowing that if they need to change that their loved one they would have the accommodation of doing so privately in a bathroom using as um, adult changing table 16 the implementation of disability studies and survey now conducting these studies and surveys will help us as a society to make informed decisions regarding our disabled population and lastly Discounts on personal care products such as pampers, special needs diet, and formulas are vital, especially for people with lifelong condition. In closing, creating an inclusive society requires for us to strategically address the root causes of exclusion and discrimination, provide support and resources to marginalized community, and challenge systems of oppression. An inclusive society benefits everyone by promoting social cohesion, reducing inequality, and fostering empathy and understanding. We must recognize that disability studies are the essence for a changing world and that a person's physical impairment is not their biggest problem, but the fact that our society is inaccessible to them.